I'm using a homemade rainbow split cake with regular colors and neon and a little bit of everything. And the back of a sponge, I'm using the back so that it has a rounder edge to it and not a harsh line. Starting in the middle of my forehead, taking the sponge and pouncing it at an angle into my hairline on this side. You can see I went up a little high, but I corrected it pretty quickly and I'll show you how to fix that in a second too. So just go over it and make sure there's a nice even coverage. I took the bottom of the sponge and pulled it down over the bridge of my nose just a little bit. Now I'm just taking a wet wipe over my finger and just cleaning up that edge slightly, but don't worry too much about it because you're going to cover up a lot of this design. So this awesome large flora brush has been loaded with white and a nice creamy pink on the tip and I'm going to place a large flower in the center of my forehead and then a petal coming off of the center flower towards my hairline. And then I've loaded a small petal brush with the same colors, white and pink, and I'm just pulling those out over the band. This is a great design for teenagers and adults, and it can be done really quickly as well. So I'm also placing a smaller flower in the center of my large flower just to give it some depth so it's not so flat. And then I'm going to place smaller petals on the inside of those outer petals as well. And my paint got a little sticky so I had to go over this one a couple times. Now I'm going to add some swirls and I'm going to take that right up over where the band ends and do the same on the other side and then I'm actually going to turn these into a double swirl so holding my brush tip right at the bottom of that first curl and then I'm just going to pull up and around and do the same on the other side don't forget the trick to nice lines is to start on the tip of your brush and then push down and then pull back up on the tip I'm also going to do a couple teardrops at the bridge of my nose where that flower ends just to round out the design and then I'm going to do some more swirls at the side of the band as well and I made those double swirls also just because it's a little bit more fun so now I'm adding some starbursts and some dots I do really like this design for spring and for festivals it's quick and bright and fun and you can switch up the colors a hundred different ways and really make it into your own design very easily. I am adding a few dots into the center flower here and there you go. You can stop there. It's again quick, pretty, bright, but I'm going to take a liner brush and I loaded this with white and I'm very lightly going to add some more swirls and layer those in to make this just a little bit fuller. You could also add some teardrops just to add some detail, but I really like the way this turned out and I hope you guys do too and I hope you try it.